thank the gentlewoman, and now the gentleman from uh, Tennessee, Mr. Fincher, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, uh, Senator Governor, uh, for for coming today. Um, I represent a very, very heavy uh, ag district back in Tennessee. A lot of constituents uh, had had money tied up in MF Global, and they're calling me and asking me, you know, what's happened, what's going on. Um, if you were a customer of MF Global, I've just got a couple of statements, a couple of questions, and then I'll let you comment. I, if you were a customer of MF Global, would you accept the story that you're telling, um, that you simply don't know where the funds are, that $1.2 billion is unaccounted, and the CEO, the COO, and the CFO of this firm simply don't know where the money is and can't help find it because they don't, they quit and don't have access to the records. Uh, should hardworking farmers and ranchers who have their money tied up accept this? And would you? If I were one of those customers, I'd be very frustrated, angry. Um, I would um, expect that um, we will get the answers to this as the multiple investigations that are looking at all of the, uh, the facts lay those out. And people, um, according to what I have heard, have um, almost a 24-7 approach to those investigations. And um, I am sure it is frustrating, but it needs to be um, resolved with uh, facts, not speculation. Why did, why did you resign? I was asked to resign. And that's by implication. You repeatedly state that you're unable to answer specific questions because you do not have access to the books. Uh, why not help the investigators find this money? And can you point to any instances where you have assisted in the un ongoing search for these funds after you left? Um, I have not, um, other than my testimony, which um, I'm sure has been reviewed. Who had the right to approve transfer of money between firm accounts? As I've said, said in my uh, testimony, it was in our treasury function. Um, there were, and there are checks and balances on that. There are treasury operations where people physically move securities and cash, and there are people that do the financing part. operate in uh, interface with banks and the repurchase markets and other things. W would it be safe to say that that maybe the the reason, and just in layman's terms, if you will, that you were just, MF Global was just short in the market <coughs> and couldn't cover the margins and that's why the money's gone? Congressman, to my uh, recollection the evening of October 27th there were uh, substantial hundreds of millions of dollars in cash and free collateral that should have allowed us to meet margin calls. Do you think any laws have been broken here? Congressman I'd be speculating um, because I don't know the facts and I think it is it's fact dependent. Uh, I, I do not know, sir. I have not. Uh, I don't have access to the ongoing investigations and what they've uncovered to date. It's just really, uh, you know, to common sense business people, farmers who take risk. I'm a farmer. Uh, take risk uh, every day, trying to uh, deal with all sorts of variables to have some stability. And, and presence, knowing that their capital is safe. And then to have these hearings, and I've watched uh, the Senate and then the House Ag, and then today, and, and it just, no answers. It's just, just beating around the bush, so to speak, as we say back in Tennessee. Um, no clarity. Um, no one knows anything. Everybody's done something. 
and it's it's really a shame. I, I, I'm sure we will get to the bottom of it. Someone will. Um, but I hope no laws have been broken here because this is really a disservice to uh, a lot of American farmers. Thank you, guys. I thank the gentleman.